John Workington here from Michael's Camera. I'm joined by Mark Goodwin from Canon Australia, and we've got your new compact camera. It's the new G8, G1X Mark III. It's in the PowerShot series, correct, Mark? That is correct, yes. Now, this thing is uh, it's just crammed with features, and it's got a big sensor in it, right? It's got an APS-C size sensor in this uh, tiny little body here. And it's got a basic a 24 to 70 mil effective lens? Yeah, effectively 24 to 70-ish, three times optical zoom. Yeah, and it's fast at the wide end, 2.8, right? 2.8 to 5.6, yes. Yes, so that's really good. But here's what's really amazing about this. Look how thin the lens is. This camera's pocketable, and I've had a quick look through the electronic viewfinder. It's incredible. You're, nice. just, you're not seeing pixels in this electronic viewfinder. It's a beautiful view. We've got flip-out screen on the back here, so very similar to so many of the Canon cameras that everybody loves. They flip out to the side and they tilt, so they're not that flip-down variety. Canon's got a great system here. What are the other key features that people are going to like about this camera? It comes down to size, essentially. So you've got all that power, I suppose, resolving power uh, uh, packed into a small little body. Mm -hmm. um, it's... Uh, so I picked it up probably, I don't know, two hours ago. Yeah. Came straight here. As I you knew, do. Because I knew you'd make a video of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I'm, I'm super impressed with this uh, after this is my first time seeing it essentially as well. So I'm, it's all very, very new to me seeing it wise. Yeah. Um, I'm super impressed. It, it, it's nice it's and light. It's a tough little build. It's, it's, it's not plasticky at all. It's got, it really feels no, like it's right. got some weight to it. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you'll definitely get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah. It's got a little flip-up flash as well, so you're not lost if you don't have a bit of light at the very end. But keep in mind, this is a big sensor in here. It's got good ISO performance. Yes, very good low, low, uh, low light performance. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the wide end, which is 24 mil, you've got 2.8, so you're going to gather a lot of light through the lens as well. Exactly. Well, you get a hot shoe at the top here as well, so if you want to throw on a 270... You can put any cannon flash on here. Any flash yeah, on yeah, well, that's great. And you've, you've got go. every mode under the sun, you've got all the manual modes, you've got exposure compensation right here on the front dial, yeah. but of course when it comes to video, you've got the dual pixel engine as well. Dual pixel engine, yeah, yes. Um, the touch and drag AF, you've got... Um, We've been using it for years, it works like a charm. Yeah. It's a known commodity, uh, I don't think anybody's managed to make a system that works as well with just touch interactions for focus as Canon. You it's do beautiful. these, you know, p focus pulls on, it just plain works. Yes. A uh, couple other neat things, uh, you've got uh, first time, f well, first time back for a, uh, for a Canon Compact is the panoramic shoot. Oh yes! How's that work? Have you tried so, it? It works just, I've seen a video. <laughs> uh, we'll have to do, we'll it test works that just out. like it would on an iPhone. You hold the button so down. So a sweet panorama mode finally comes to Canon. You pan People have been asking this for years. This yeah, is great. It, it, it'll be a big feature on this one. It's and got fast frame rate as well. Frame. So this will do, it's a seven, seven frames, frames per second. Per second. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So uh, that's great. Uh, time lapse movie mode. So oh yeah, so all, all, yeah. all, all the, the bells and whistles you're getting with your other uh, high-end compacts, your other G-series cameras. Yeah. No, that's, it sounds like a really impressive uh, package. I just cannot believe the thickness of it. We were taking a look and comparing it to the, what was it, the, the 7, the GX? The G7X. The G7X, yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is dramatically smaller. Uh, this Here, let's just power it up here. You can see that obviously the lens collapses. Here, let's just get this. Someone told me it was a G5X on steroids. <laughs> so we power it up and there it comes out. So we're really getting uh, a lot of lens hidden in a very small package. Yes. Uh, and of course, our zoom ring on the front here for zoom control, so that's great. Zoom control, you can yeah. change it to aperture control if you like, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you want to do. Oh, so it's a custom function. Yeah. Yes, yeah, great. And we've got a control dial in the front here, and then uh, around the ring of the, of the uh, shutter, again, we've got zoom control as zoom well. There, yeah. yeah. And then over here, we've got all of our modes, it's just your standard, you got your, your aperture control, uh, P mode, you get your movie modes, custom, it's got a couple of custom functions as well, which is nice. Yep. So it's a very well-equipped camera. Very well equipped, all run through a, the shiny new Digic 7 processor as yeah. well. So very, uh, very powerful little unit. And like all Canon cameras, we've got full tripod socket on the bottom there as well, so we can mount it up and we can take our night shots, we can do everything that we need to do. Yes. So that's oh, perfect. Oh, no battery change either. Yes. Oh, that's the, right. The battery uh, NB13L. Yes. And that was the same in which unit was that? That was, that was the same in the G7X. G7X, that's right. So that's good. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. When, when can customers expect to see these things? November-ish. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think there might be a chance you will have, will you have this one at the photo show, just in case? Anybody Jeez, wants to I see hope it? so. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. I, I'm trying to keep this for the extra week to 
leave it alone for the, the photo show. Okay, well, hopefully, if you come to Melbourne's photo show on Saturday, October the 28th at Michael's Camry, be able to have a chance to see this in the flesh, along with some really exciting new products from Canada as well. We've got yes. three new tilt shift lenses are coming in for uh, that. Uh, we're gonna get some, yes. We've got a florist coming in. It's going to be very. Uh, Busy. Very, very busy. Uh, plus, we've got that new uh, flash coming in as well, the, uh, the, the twin light. Oh, the, yes. Yes. I hope so. Yeah. Well, it's good. Well, we've got lots of things Don't to flash. Don't jump the gun there, man. I'm trying, <laughs> still trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so uh, as always, we're excited when Mark comes in to visit us with a new toy here. And uh, this is your next compact camera. Oh, I guess the other thing we didn't even say what? is that this has got a large sensor, but it's a sealed system. So you're not going to get any dust in this thing. No. This is a all-in-one camera with a great spec uh, uh, spe uh, set of specifications. And uh, so it's not interchangeable, so you don't have to worry about dust getting in there. Nope. Seal no, system. Oh, and there's an underwater body as well for it. Uh, there's a case. There is a case coming yes. out for that. We will love to see we'll, that. We will, once we get a hold of one of those, we'll bring it in. This would be a nice little uh, diving camera. I'd be perfect. You got, got a great spec, uh, uh, you know, all, all, you get the, the, the big sensor for low ISO or high ISO performance. Mm. You got a good zoom range in it, and you can't beat a manufacturer's waterproof case. That's right. Those, those, they're just good, good for 40 meters, I think. Yeah, is, and yeah. good value. You, they're yeah. always a good value. Anyway, exciting camera. It's the brand new PowerShot G1X Mark III. Brought to us from Mark. <laughs> anyway, take care. We'll see you next time.